hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how to create an home icon in Adobe Illustrator CS6 so this is the icon that I'm going to create today so let's see how it's done first select the rectangle tool here and I'm going to draw an rectangle here just like this and make sure it's in the center of the artboard Okay, now it's in the center and I need to add an anchor point. Go to the pen tool and there you'll find add anchor point tool and select here. Right in the center of this rock and you add in an anchor point and next thing is go to direct selection tool and you need to drag this up and make sure the smart guides are lined up like this to the center of the rectangle just like this all right so i think this is fine okay all right next thing is we need to take a copy of this and for that Hold, by holding shift and alt I'm going to take a copy right let's change the color of this object mm. yeah and the next thing is I need to remove some anchor points then go here and delete anchor point tool and click this and this okay the next thing is I want to delete this stroke here for that I need to go to pen tool and click somewhere here and the next thing is go to direct selection tool and click this stroke and hit the delete button yeah just like this all right next thing is we need to remove the fill here the color here uh, for that uh, make it none then you will get this stroke just like this right. bring it down like this but uh, you need to make it a little bit bigger okay all right this is fine perfectly fine and uh, next thing is I want to increase the weight of this rock uh, let's make it to yeah to like yeah it's fine and uh, the other thing is I want to make Alright, yeah, I want to make the cap and corners round, so make sure it's done. Okay, or as you can increase that too, just like this. Okay, I'll make it to two, and here also the same thing. Mm, the cap and the corners, make them round, then only it looks nice. Alright guys, the next thing I want to do, okay, the next thing I want to do is create a door here. So before that, I need to uh, make this object, unite whatever the strokes and object. Uh, now when you, when you press Ctrl and Y, you can see how it looks. So this is just like, uh, I only can see strokes. So it's not a proper icon. In that case, what we need to do here is just click this icon first of all and go to object and expand. Then you need 
okay all right guys and then this needs to be united and go to the pathfinder palette and click unite all right now this has become one shape see you can see the difference and all right the next thing is this stroke here again go to object and expand okay all right so this has become another object too see the difference all right so the next thing i want to do is to draw a door here go to the rectangle tool and draw a door just like this okay guys make sure the color is something else so that you can easily can easily see right and uh, make sure it's in the center of this house that or as you can yeah straight away you can select this and select horizontal align center now this is in the center of the house okay and the next thing is what we need to do uh, okay I undo the stroke and you'll see this sorry undo the stroke and you'll see this kind of rectangle here and the next thing we need to do just uh, do we need to make it a little bit bigger yes I think it's better right okay yeah this is fine and click on this both objects and go to pathfinder palette and there you'll find minus front so just like that you got it guys and the other thing is if you want to make the corners round here also you can go to stroke no you can't do it now i think and then again you need to make the stroke like this and make the corners uh, round yeah just like that and fill fill uh, fill in black and yeah like this and then so whole thing and again go to object and expand uh, yeah then here unite yeah now it's perfectly fine guys uh, so this is how it's done so you can easily see how it's done all right and the other thing is uh, what we need to do is we need to group these two objects how it's done the select both and click unite here now it became one object so you can place it anywhere it's a one object yes that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, let's see you next time